Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra. If you're new here, I'm a nurse practitioner. And this was a requested video to show how to use a stethoscope to listen to heart and lung sounds. So I have my beautiful sister model here. Her name is Angelique. Hello. <laughs> and she has volunteered to be my model for this demonstration. Okay, so we're gonna start with heart sounds first. Okay, so there's five points you're going to listen to for the heart. The first point is the second intercostal space, right sternal border. So you're gonna start at the clavicle. You're gonna feel the first intercostal space. You're gonna feel the next rib, and then you're gonna feel the second intercostal space. Okay, so an easy mnemonic to remember these landmarks is all pigs eat too much, which is aortic, pulmonic, Herb's point, tricuspid, and mitral. And those are over the heart valves. The herb's point is the halfway point between the pulmonic and the tricuspid valve. So the first point here, second intercostal space, right sternal border is the aortic valve. Directly across the sternum here, second intercostal space, is the pulmonic valve. So this is second intercostal space. We're gonna go one down for herbs point. So right there is the herbs point. So this point here is herbs point. It's third intercostal space, left sternal border. And then we're gonna go one intercostal space down. to the tricuspid valve, and that is fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. And then the last point is the mitral area, which is mid clavicular line. So this is the clavicle here. You're gonna go straight down to the fifth intercostal space. On women, you usually have breast tissue in the way, so you're just gonna listen right underneath. And we're just gonna lift up a little here and it would go right there. Um, on men, you can go ahead and just go right over that area. Okay, so you're going to listen for S1, S2 over each point, and that sounds like lub dub. If you hear extra heart sounds, that could be a problem. So for listening to S1, S2, you're going to use the diaphragm side of the stethoscope. And you'll start at the aortic. And then we're gonna to go to the pulmonic. And then herbs point. And then tricuspid. And mitral. Okay, so those are all the landmarks for listening to heart sounds. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lung sounds. I already landmarked where you're gonna listen, but basically you're going to listen on the right side and on the left side. There are three lobes on the right. There's the right upper lobe, the right middle lobe, and the right lower lobe. And then there's two lobes on the left. So there is the upper and the lower. Okay, so you're gonna start above the clavicle on each side. You're gonna have the patient breathe in and out. Take a deep breath in and blow out with your mouth. And again. And then you just kind of ladder back and forth and then out with your mouth. And you do want to check with your patient, make sure they're not getting dizzy from blowing off too much CO2. And then you relax. Deep breath in, blow out.
doing okay? Mm-hmm. Deep breath in? I'm hot. <laughs> and then you can listen mid axillary line on each side. Okay, so that's the anterior landmarks to listen to the lungs. All right, now I'm gonna have you turn around. And so all these blue stickers are where you're going to listen. So you wanna listen in between the scapula. So a trick to help open up the scapula is to have the patient cross their arms cross your arms and kind of lean forward a little bit and that'll help spread apart the scapula okay so again we're going to listen one side to the other and then just go on down in the latter fashion ideally it should be right on the skin take a deep breath in but for the purposes of this video we're just doing it with some clothing Deep breath in, and out. And you wanna listen for a full breath in and out in each landmark. Your lungs sound really good. So one other thing I wanted to mention when you're listening to the heart is that to detect the S3 and S4 abnormal heart sounds, you would listen with the bell end of the stethoscope because that will pick it up much better. This is the Bjorn Hall stethoscope. I do have another video on this. It's a review video that explains in more detail about this stethoscope. So if you wanna learn more about this stethoscope, um, go ahead and check out that video. All right, guys, so I hope that helped you understand heart and lung landmarks when you listen with the stethoscope. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you to my model sister, Angelique. She also has a great channel if you want to check it out. I will link it down below. So Angelique started a channel to explain her life living with seizures and things that she is doing to help improve her seizures or even hopefully eliminate her seizures in the future. So if you want to check that out, I will link her channel down below as well. All right, you guys, that's all we have. Thank you so much for watching. So this is the clavicle. Stop. Okay. We're going to have a lot of bloopers. Okay. So an easy way to remember the heart landmarks is all pigs eat. <laughs> Do you want to just mention anything about it? Um, yeah, I go follow my journey to <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, what do you want me to say? I don't want to just be like promoting my channel That's so fine. much at the end. <laughs> That's what it just sounded like. Like the last one.